Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our culture unit today,、mm -hmm. as we begin the hot month of August here, and maybe you've got some holiday time saved up from your job, and you're on、uh, summer vacation from school. So maybe you might want to consider a trip over to Hong Kong. No, there are lots of、uh, cheap flights. Oh no, too no. hot. Too hot. Well, just <laughs> as hot as Taiwan, I suppose. Oh, I think it's、uh, cooler here. It's a big city, and it's real.、Yep. I've been there in August. It's hot. I haven't been there. In many years. Oh, really? And I'm sure it's changed quite a lot. They're building new stuff all the time. They've got that new airport there.、Mm -hmm. They've got a really big bridge there,、yeah. and new buildings in Central and in Tim Shotsway and places like that. But if you do happen to go to Hong Kong, like any place, a good thing to do there is chow down. Of course. Enjoy some of their snacks, and specifically, we're talking about late night snacking the Hong Kong way.、Hmm. I guess here in Taiwan. Of course, you got Xiao Ye, where you can go out and have like a midnight snack or something like that. And I think this is probably similar to that.、Mm. They do it pretty well in Hong Kong as well. You could get fat that way, though.、Possibly. Right now, guys, we're going to go ahead and read through the unit, and then we'll be back. It's just after midnight in Hong Kong, and a hot pot restaurant is bustling with activity. People are huddled around steaming bowls of soup, talking and laughing as if it were the middle of the day. This is a typical scene in Hong Kong, where there are many big fans of this so-called fourth meal. The fourth meal is eaten anywhere between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. There's a variety of reasons for the popularity of this meal in Hong Kong. One is that it's often hot and humid during the day. So people wait until later at night, when the weather is cooled off, to eat. Another is that people work long hours and get off work late. Getting together is also a reason why people like to dine out at night. Since many of Hong Kong's apartments are crowded and small, people tend to go out and meet up for food instead of eating at home. Late night eaters are spoiled for choice in Hong Kong. Many restaurants don't even open until around 9 p.m. and have special night food menus. One popular late-night dish is chicken hot pot. The meal starts off as stirred fried chicken with hot sauce. Once the chicken is eaten, broth is added to the pot it was in to transform the dish into a flavorful hot pot. In addition to hot pot, there are plenty of dim sum restaurants. Serving bite-sized dishes in bamboo steamer baskets and on small plates. Last but not least, are street food stalls. While stalls like these are thriving in Taiwan, they're dying out in Hong Kong, making them a must-try while there. Be sure to stay up late and eat out late like the locals on your next trip to Hong Kong. The time has now arrived for us to discuss the contents of today's lesson. So let's get to it. The title here is "Late Night Snacking: The Hong Kong Way." So this is snacking late at night, which would be what after 11 p.m. or something like that. Well, we're kind of talking between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. Actually, okay, that、yeah. would be considered late night snacking or late at night.、Uh, this is、uh, doing it the Hong Kong way, and of course. Course, as I said earlier, in Taiwan, of course, you have the Xiao Ye tradition, the late night snack tradition. It might be slightly different in Hong Kong, so let's discuss those differences in today's program. Now, here in the first paragraph, it says, "It's just after midnight in Hong Kong, and a hot pot restaurant is bustling with activity." So it's after midnight in Hong Kong. You might think, "Hey, everybody's tired from a day of school and a day of work. Maybe everything's closed now. Everybody should." Be home sleeping and resting, but no. There's a hot pot restaurant in Hong Kong after midnight, and it's bustling with activity. Bustling here is kind of like a runao. You know, it's just really active. Lots of people doing lots of things. It's really noisy. It's really active. People are getting a late night snack. It's as if it's the middle of the day. Right. So people are huddled around steaming bowls of soup. 
、um, when you huddle, you kind of、uh, bend over something.、Uh, picture American football; they often huddle before they start to play, so they'll kind of. You know, kind of bend their shoulders and put their heads together in a circle.、Uh, they're kind of huddled over those bowls of soup. They're steaming because they're hot,、uh, which is、uh, something I don't like to eat when I'm hot. I want to eat something cold. But、mm. here, even in the middle of summer, they've got people who are huddled over steaming bowls of soup, talking and laughing as if it were the middle of the day. This is pretty typical, though, because most Hong Kongers they like to get out of their apartments, which are really small, and go and meet friends, and、uh, sometimes they're just with family and eat at restaurants.、Uh, although eating out is quite popular here in Taiwan as well. Uh, indeed, and of course they're laughing and talking.、Uh, they're huddled around those steaming bowls of soup, and this is a typical scene in Hong Kong, where there are many big fans of this so-called fourth meal.、Hmm. So it's a typical scene. It's a common scene. It's something that you see quite often. I can believe it because it seems to me that in Asia, food is very important to the people here. So, typical something that you see a lot.、Um, my typical day includes getting up in the morning,、uh, eating breakfast, and then going off to work around eight thirty. That's a typical morning. Well, this is a typical scene, something that you see a lot in Hong Kong, where there are many. Big fans of this so-called fourth meal. So-called means that's just what people commonly call it. It's not its formal name, but it's just referred to as the fourth meal. Most of us, I eat three meals a day, right? Breakfast, lunch, dinner. But this meal comes quite late at night. Yep, it's a typical scene. It's something you see quite commonly in Hong Kong. That fourth meal, and the fourth meal is eaten anywhere between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. Maybe you have a similar schedule here in Taiwan as well. So yes, indeed, you've already had your breakfast,、mm. you've already had your lunch, yeah, you've already had your dinner, and now it's late at night. It's after midnight, and perhaps it could last as late as 6 a.m. or it starts at 9 p.m. That would be your fourth meal,、mm. and. There's a variety of reasons for the popularity of this meal in Hong Kong. There are many reasons why this meal is so popular in Hong Kong, as I'm sure there are many reasons why it's popular here in Taiwan as well. Now, one reason is that it's often hot and humid、mm. during the day, so people wait until later at night when the weather has cooled off to eat. Yes, that sounds、uh, reasonable. That sounds logical. It's very hot and humid. Humid during the day,、Woo-hoo. you sweat a lot. It's、yeah. hot, and who wants to eat a hot meal during the day? So people wait until later at night. When it's night, the sun has set, and it's not so hot anymore. Maybe you get a cool breeze off the harbor, and it's nice and cool then. So that's a nice time to enjoy a meal later at night. That's true.、Uh, if you're in Hong Kong, you're much closer to the ocean, aren't you?、Mm-hmm. Um, I remember. I remember one time I was there. In August, it's really hot, and I found a bench that was right there by the harbor, as you mentioned earlier.、Mm-hmm. And there is a nice breeze sometimes that comes in at night. That saves that city because it's so hot and humid otherwise. So, because it's so hot, a lot of people lose their appetites. You know, when it's really hot, I just don't feel like eating unless it's ice cream or some cold fruit, perhaps. Well. It's the same with a lot of people. They don't really feel like eating when it's hot and humid during the day, so they wait. They push back their meal until later at night. Some go ahead and eat, and then add that fourth meal when it's really late. I can't eat that many calories, but、uh, mm. they will often wait until the weather has cooled off. You can also say until the weather has cooled down to eat. So another reason. Remember, we're going to give you a variety of reasons, several different reasons. Here's number two. Another is that people work long hours. Hong Kong is a very, very metropolitan. Metropolitan city. They're a big financial district, which means people work long hours.、Um, I have a couple friends over there. They work a lot later than they do here in Taiwan. It's more like working and living in New York City. We have to work long hours there too. So they work long hours and they get off work late. Maybe they're getting off work at ten or eleven p.m. 
Uh, yeah, and if you get off that work, get off so late from work, you're、yeah. probably pretty hungry, starving from a day's work. I'm imagining maybe they work so hard that they actually missed lunch or they missed dinner or something、mm-hmm. like that. Totally. So this might be the only late meal that they can eat. So indeed, that's one reason they work hours and get off work late, or maybe even <laughs> students go to cram schools or whatever,、mm-hmm. and they're getting out of classes late as well. And getting together is also a reason why people like to dine. Out at night. So here we've got the word "dine" as a verb to dine, and it's being used with the preposition "out" to dine out. That just means to eat a meal outside of the home, typically in a restaurant or maybe in a night market. Yeah, you can't use "dine" as a noun, though. This is a verb, but if you put an "er" on it, it's a type of restaurant called a diner.、Uh, diners are very popular in the states.、Uh, they'll often serve. Breakfast all day long. You can have pancakes late at night. We have a couple of diners here in Taiwan that are popular, especially with、uh, foreigners, but also、mm. with the Taiwanese people.、Uh, there's a restaurant called The Diner that、mm. you can go to.、Uh, so you can dine out at night. And since many of Hong Kong's, this is another reason, by the way. Number reason number three. That eating that fourth meal is popular, since many of Hong Kong's apartments are crowded and small, and they're expensive too.、Uh, people tend to, or this is what they're likely to do:、uh, they tend to go out and meet up for food instead of eating at home. So they'll call up their friends, or maybe take their family and go and find a restaurant that's either close to their house or maybe a ways away, but they enjoy that place. They'll go out and eat instead of cooking some. Something at home. I often eat out, or at least I pick food up outside, and then I take it home and eat it. But because the apartments are so small, there they really are.、Uh, a lot of people like to get out, so they have more space. Indeed, it's an excuse to get out of that cramped apartment and breathe some fresh air. Okay, that brings us to the midway point in today's lesson. Let's take a break right now and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 我们今天要看的是香港这个城市。首先呢，我们来看一下，在第一个空格的句子写着 ，People are huddled around steaming bowls of soup, talking and laughing. Blank one. It were the middle of the day. 在这里的关键字呢，在空格后面的第二个字 were。那在这里前面的句子是现在简单式，可是后面却用到过去式。如果你可以侦测到这里的动词形式不一样的时候呢，你就容易答对答案。我们看一下第一题的 A 选项 ，so that 为了以便 ，B as if 仿佛好像。C just because 只因为 D even though 尽管虽然，在这里面的文意指的是人们围着一锅锅热腾腾的汤挤在一起，一边谈笑风生，仿佛好像就是大白天一样。所以搭配文意跟文法呢，第一题的标准答案我们选择 B as if。As if 后面的句子呢，在这里是跟现在事实相反，所以我们用过去式的动词 were。接着来看到第二个空格的句子 ，There's a variety of reasons for the blank two of this meal in Hong Kong。因为今天谈论的主题是宵夜，然而宵夜的时间呢是在晚上九点。到隔天早上六点之间，那么这一餐在香港是怎么样？那事实上是有很多的原因。第二题 A 的选项是 popularity， 流行普及 ；B authority， 权力职权 ；C capacity， 容量容积 ；D electricity， 电。电力宵夜在香港呢是非常流行普及，有着很高的人气，所以搭配文艺。第二题的标准答案我们就选择 A popularity。而后面叙述的原因，第一个原因我们说 One is that 来加一个子句，另外一个原因我们根据文法呢就可以用 another。我们来看一下第三个空格 ，blank three。
is that people work long hours and get off work late. 那么另外一个原因呢，则是人们工作的时间非常的长，下班的时候也已经很晚了。所以在这里叙述原因，第一个用 one， 其他另外一个，我们在这里是单数，所以就选择 C 选项 another。第四个空格的句子 ，Blank four. Many of Hong Kong's apartments are crowded and small. People tend to go out and meet up for food instead of eating at home. 在这里你会注意到呢，前后两个是完整的句子，我们需要一个连接词。前面的句子提到，许多香港的这个公寓呢是非常狭小又很拥挤的，所以人们呢、啊、会去外出，然后呢跟朋友聚餐，而不是在。在家用膳，在这里有因果关系，因为公寓太狭小，所以就跟朋友在外面用餐。根据文艺，我们来看一下第四题的选项 ：A. Whereas 反而 ；B. Unless 除非 ；C. Since 因为 ；D. Although 虽然。搭配文艺，第四题的标准答案我们就选择 C. Since。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, everybody. We're going to continue with our lesson. We're talking about late night snacking in Hong Kong. Doing it the Hong Kong way. We talked about this fourth meal and reasons why people in Hong Kong enjoy this fourth meal. It's、uh, hot and humid during the day, so they wait until night. To go out and eat, also because they work long hours and they、yeah. get off work late, and also because their apartments are so small, they just want to get out of that cramped apartment and go out and have a good time. Now, late night eaters are spoiled for choice in Hong Kong. If you're spoiled for choice, you have so many choices. Wow, you don't even know where to go. How nice!、Uh, we have a lot of choice here in Taiwan. Not so much、uh, in terms of restaurants that are open after midnight. It's hard to get dinner here if you wait until it's nine、uh, thirty. Sometimes、mm. I don't get finished with work until nine thirty,、right. and I haven't eaten dinner, and it's、uh, it's harder to find something to eat besides, you know, the night market.、Um, but there, they're spoiled for choice. They have lots of options. Many restaurants don't even open. Get this until around 9 p.m. I would love that and have special night food menus. So, a menu would include the dishes that they serve, and they have a special menu that just features night food, whatever that、uh, means to that particular restaurant. Yeah, foods that probably are more、uh, suitable for the fourth meal of the day, and not so much for other meals.、Mm -hmm. So yes, they have the special menus for night food. And one popular late night dish is chicken hot pots. Okay, yum.、Uh, if you've ever had that before, hot pot, of course, is huo guo. So maybe this has chicken in it.、Uh, uh -huh. This is more unique to Hong Kong and Cantonese cooking. It's definitely different because it's kind of a two-part meal here. Indeed. And the meal starts off as stir-fried chicken with hot sauce.、Mm. So if something stir-fried, of course, is just fried in a wok usually、uh, with the oil or something like that with the、uh, high fire, as you say, kuai huo,、mm. fast fire. I don't know if you can actually say that in English. No, we don't say that in English. Kuai huo. I don't really know how to <laughs> translate that, but in any case, yes, indeed, it's stir-fried chicken, and they have some hot sauce there. Maybe it's that exo sauce. Could be. Could、yeah. be. And once the chicken is eaten, after you finish eating the chicken, broth is added to the pot it was in to transform the dish into a flavorful hot pot. So we've got broth here. That's kind of like、uh, the juice of the chicken. Yeah, if you want to make broth, you go get. Let's pretend we're making chicken broth. You'll go get a whole chicken. Put it in a pot. Put some water in. Maybe some celery.、Uh, maybe a couple of carrots, some onion, and you'll cook it all day till that chicken's really cooked well. You'll take the chicken out, of course, and you'll leave the it leaves juice behind. 
So with that water, it's got the juice from the chicken and those few vegetables. That's broth, and it can taste delicious. So they add broth to the pot, and it transforms the dish into a flavorful hot pot. Flavorful means something tastes really good because it has a lot of flavor. See, flavorful, full of flavor.、Mm. And if you transform something, you change it completely. So it goes from being a stir-fried chicken、uh, with hot sauce. There's no juice in that, right? It's kind of dry. And then they add that broth, and it transforms it into a flavorful hot pot. Sounds delicious. I'm, my mouth is watering. It sounds so good. It's tasty. It's delicious. You could never get enough of. It. Now, in addition to hot pot, there are plenty of dim sum restaurants serving bite-sized dishes in bamboo steamer baskets and on small plates. So you're probably familiar with this. Of course,、uh, the Mandarin term is dim sum, but of course in Cantonese it's pronounced differently. Dim sum. I don't know exactly how to pronounce、I、it in Cantonese. I think that's English. Yeah. <laughs> dim sum comes from Cantonese, and、yeah. so the original Cantonese probably has、uh, a couple of those. Nine tones that Cantonese is famous for, but、yeah. uh, these are dim sum restaurants. Of course, they have them here in Taiwan in certain hotels and maybe other places, and they serve those bite-sized dishes. So it's just the food that you can eat in one bite, and they also serve them in bamboo steamer baskets. I believe they push them around in carts, and you you know take a look.、Ah, I think I like one of those、yeah. and one of those, and then they serve it to you on small plates, or they serve it to you in those. Bamboo steamer baskets. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Now, last but not least, meaning we are giving you a variety of dishes. This dish we're going to talk about is the last one, but that doesn't mean that it's the least popular or the one we don't really care much for. No, it's last, but don't consider it the least. It's still pretty cool. Our street food stalls, which of course we're very, very familiar with here in Taiwan, because of our night markets, which are spectacular. I must say, we're much better with our night markets than Hong Kong. So there. Well, maybe you just just don't know where to go in Hong Kong. No, 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 no. I don't know. no, 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 no. Taiwan is known for its night markets. Hong、mm. Kong's not so much. In fact, their night markets are dying out, which means they're、uh, almost to the point where they're no longer. In existence,、uh, they're not around so much. So, if something thrives, notice we're using that word "thrive." It means it's doing very well. If a plant thrives, it's growing very well. It's quite green and beautiful. If a, a kid is thriving,、uh, they're learning a lot. They're growing. They're healthy. They look great. So, we use that word to、um, talk about something that's doing very well. A food stall, of course, is that.、Uh, Uh, kind of、uh, an outdoor table.、Uh, it's a place where a vendor could cook something up quickly and sell it to people who are out wandering around in those night markets. Well, that's a nice explanation, but simply it's just Lu Bian Tan street food stalls.、Uh-huh. Okay, so they're thriving in Taiwan, but they're dying out in Hong Kong.、Uh, just like say CD stores are dying out all over the world. Actually, I think they've already died out. I don't even know where to go to buy CDs anymore. But、uh, yes, these、uh, street food stalls are dying out in Hong Kong, and that makes them a must-try while there. Get them while you can,、mm. because they're going to disappear in the future. Be sure to stay up late and eat out late, like the locals on your next trip. To Hong Kong.、Cool. So, of course, what you want to do is stay up late, which means you don't go to bed when you normally do.、Uh, some people maybe go to bed as early as nine o'clock or ten o'clock,、wow. which is unheard of、uh, in cities, of course. But、uh, staying up late for people in Taipei probably means staying up to you know, maybe one or two a.m. in the morning or something like that. So maybe you want to do that if you're in Hong Kong. Stay up late and eat out. Eat out late, like the locals. Locals means the people who live there in Hong Kong, and you should do that on your next trip to Hong Kong. Sounds good. I wanted to mention that dying out phrase.、Yep. To die out means to go extinct as well. For example, dinosaurs died out long ago, thousands of years ago. Millions, actually, sixty-five million oh, years ago. Oh, millions, millions of years ago. So,、mm. if something's dying out, it's.、Uh, 
It's not thriving, that's for sure. It's kind of the opposite of to thrive is to die out. So it's something you want to check out, especially if you're making a trip out to Hong Kong. Maybe in a couple more years, there won't be any food stalls, those street food stalls, for you to try some of their street food. I'm sure it's not as good as the street food here in Taiwan, though. Uh, yes, we do have to say that here, so we can have all of you continuing to listen to our program. I'm serious, though, Tom. Our street food in Taiwan is spectacular. Uh, yeah, it is、uh, pretty good indeed. And、uh, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today, or at least our explanation. We do still need to hear from our Chinese teacher, though. 接着我们来看到第五个空格的句子 Late night eaters are blank five for choice in Hong Kong. 在这里呢，香港这个地方，深夜的食客都因为选择太多而怎么样？而今天这篇文章就是谈到香港呢是一个宵夜的天堂，有这样子的一个选择呢，这些深夜的食客是怎么样的？第五题的 A 选项 spoiled。溺爱、宠坏 ；B. admired， 钦佩、欣赏 ；C. traced， 跟踪、追踪 ；D. concerned， 关于。那么在这里，根据文艺，如果你是一个喜欢吃宵夜的人，在香港你的选择很多，而且是被宠坏的食客。搭配文艺，第五题的标准答案，我们就选择 A. spoiled。第六个空格的句子写着：鸡肉吃完了之后，就会在原本放鸡肉的锅里面加入高汤 （broth）， 然后就让这道料理怎么样 ？Into 要注意这个介系词哦，把这个料理呢变成为是美味的火锅。第六题 A 选项 deserve 应该得到 ，B accuse 控诉 ，C horrify。使恐惧 ，D transform 改变改造。那么鸡肉吃完，加入高汤，就变成美味的火锅。所以搭配文艺，第六题的标准答案就选择 D transform。接着第七个空格的句子写着 ：While stalls like these are thriving in Taiwan, they are dying out in Hong Kong. Blank seven, them a must try while there. 其实呢，像这样的摊贩在台湾是非常盛行的，但是在香港却在消失当中。正因如此呢，你呢一定要去那里尝试一下香港的大排档。在这里是考考同学们文法的概念。前面有两个完整的句子，用 while 来连接。这里打上逗号呢，就补充说明。那这样子的因素，就造成呢这些大排档的摊贩。是一定要去光顾的，这也是分词构句的句型，所以搭配文法。第七题的标准答案，我们就选择 B making。OK， 以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。That's all for today, everybody. Thank you for joining us, and enjoy your next trip to Hong Kong if you decide to go there. And indeed, check out their late night snacks. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.